I'm Hannah Trigwell and I'm a musician. I think that this year for me has been amazing. Um, winning the Best International Unsigned Award from the Online Music Awards was just probably the highlight of the year for me. Um, and touring with Boy 7 U, um, the sold out single launch at the cockpit, I mean, the local spot is amazing and to have a worldwide fan base as well. Um, at such an early stage in my career is is great. I think from the couple of years that I've been putting videos out on YouTube, um, the, the views have grown and I've, I've kind of grown up with the whole social networking thing and I think the industry has really changed with that and and it, things like YouTube and Facebook have allowed me to get support from different areas of the world and it, it's just been amazing. I think the new EP is quite a different collection of songs um, from the first EP that I put out. Um, Not Enough is really, for me, um, part of the journey. It was in no way supposed to be a, this is what I'm doing now. It was sort of more of a stepping stone. Um, and I feel like that got across quite well. And Head Rush, the single from the EP, um, did really well. And we had some great feedback to the video. The EP got to number 10 in the iTunes Sing Songwriter chart and was picked to post by Ed Sheeran, so that's alright. <laughs> um, and I think that kind of shows more than ever um, the power of social networking because the, the calibre of artists behind me or you know in the chart were um, just amazing. I mean, people like Laura Marley. I think there is a lead music scene and um, I think that the majority of the lead music scene, from what, from what I've seen anyway, is um, very much folky um, and we've got some amazing folk artists. Um, the city is just brimming with talent and I still really enjoy playing the leads um, venues because we've got, some, we've got some great places to play and a lot of great people kind of doing, doing music and doing the sound engineering as well so it's a great city for music. It's hard for me to kind of pigeonhole myself into somewhere because I feel like I would fit in on a folk night but then again fit in on a pop rock night and and I'm, I'm glad to have that versatility of course. Leeds is supportive of upcoming talent, yeah I would say that. Um, I think that as I said it, it's sort of a hard nut to crack at first because you're trying to sort of get your name around Leeds and, and get your name into the books of promoters as it were so that you can get gigs and that's why I started busking in the first place really because I didn't know where to start and the only gig going for me was on the street because I was underage as well. <laughs> and something quite different for me, um, I've never done a show in this sort of format with other bands and with um, a catwalk and models and, and fashion and local brands and things like that. I think style is important to every musician. Um, Michael Jackson set the bar. <laughs> no, I think fashion and music definitely goes together because music is fashion in a way. It goes in and out. At the moment, dubstep is really in fashion, and um, if, as a musician, you are essentially an artist. And in live performance, I think. Well, for me, it's important to express myself visually as well as um, through sound. You can expect basically a pop rock vibe from me and the boys, and um, hopefully it will go well with the models as they strip down. So that's going to be quite cool to see. New music and new music videos and I'll be working with some new producers and stylists so I'm really looking forward to 2012 already um, and if people want to keep up to date with what I'm doing we have mailing lists and vlogs on our YouTube channel so that is the place to be.